Hey everybody, Zolnvamous here, and welcome to Windows to Revelation. I will be explaining every single Microsoft Windows OS besides Windows 1. Anyways, we're going to start off with a big one, and we're going to start off with Windows 95, or Windows Chicago. Windows 95 was released on August 24th, 1995. Windows 95 merged Microsoft's formerly separate, separate MS-DOS and the Win Windows products. It featured significant improvements over its predecessor, Windows 3.1, most notably in its graphical user interface, or GUI, and it is simplified it is in a simplified plug and play. It has simplified plug and play features. There are also major changes made to the core components of the operating system, such as moving from an, a mainly cooperative multitasked 18, 16 bit architecture to a preemptively multitasked 32 bit architecture. Now, I'm familiar. I've only used Windows 95 once and that was on an emulator and it was really slow now from even from my computer which has 16 gigabytes worth of RAM and a terabyte of memory and all that good stuff and a GTX 960M graphics card it couldn't it couldn't it just the emulator for the Windows 95 just when I was using it it was just bad Windows 95 is just yeah I know it's so outdated and it's discontinued and it's through and even it's not even supported by anything anymore you can only even if you bought even if you got Windows 95 now it would you would you wouldn't be able to even surf the internet because Windows um, Internet Explorer 1.0, even though it is mainly specified for being <sighs> compatible with Windows 95, you would still have to pay a few a few bucks and buy Windows 95 Plus. And to buy Windows 95 Plus would cost would set you back fifty dollars U fifty US dollars or sixty five. Canadian dollars. So what I'm going to be talking about today is is Windows 95 obsolete today? Of course, there is no excuse for not being obsolete because one, it's a closed source. It will not run on any computer you throw at it, even if however, if you have a Windows 95 built laptop or PC, then it's fine, but if you have a new computer, it will not run it no matter how fa hard you try to downgrade your computer, which I do not recommend doing. A couple of days ago, and yes, I know that this seems like something that I would make up, but it's not. If you look hard enough, you can find it. On an on the computer at my school, well, not at my school, but at a computer on a computer at my school, I managed to download Windows 9 and that seems like something that wouldn't happen considering most school laptops and computers are completely safe and you cannot install Windows 8, 8.1 or 10 but I managed get to get through it and put on a Windows 9 operating system seems like a long shot but it's possible if you know what you're doing and you know how to get through the school boards. Now, that's not what I'm talking about. Well, Windows 95 is completely obsolete. There's no use in using Windows 95 Plus. There's no reason. Now, now let's go into the history and compare Windows 95 to Windows 95 Plus. Now the CPU 
is the same for both of them. An 80386 Intel Core CPU with, however, Windows 95 only has 4 megabytes of RAM, and Windows 95 Plus has 8 gigabytes of RAM. So that has been upgraded, so which makes Windows 95 Plus the clear winner here. Windows 95 could not install Windows 1.0 on its original version. But if you buy the upgraded version, Windows 95 Plus, you will be able to get Windows, you would be able to get Internet Explorer 1.0 for basically free. Great. Now, what are the downsides to having Windows Windows Plus? Well, take a look at the upgrade history. You got everything from 1.0 to 3.1, but once 95 came out, people thought of Windows 95 being extremely revolutionary and being the new computer operating system that would last years. And it lasted years, but it only lasted two. <laughs> um, so they were right. It did last years. Two years, to be exact. Um, but after 95, they uh, they made Windows 98 Plus, and they used Microsoft XP Plus, and Microsoft Plus Digital Media Edition, and the Super Pack for Windows XP. And the Microsoft Plus it went to a closed source. But now, in favor, it did one more Plus upgrade, or they changed it to Windows Ultimate Extras in Windows Vista. And if I look at this, if you look at this, it was discontinued as of. Windows 7. Now, moving away from the newer stuff, like Windows Vista and A7, we're going back to Windows 95. Windows 95, man, what an old operating system, eh? It's been around for almost 22 years, but no, does anybody use it anymore? I don't see any reason, I don't see anyone with Windows 95 operating systems anymore. And plus, even if someone did, they would have to upgrade their system eventually because now it's just, it's, it's just no good anymore. Even Windows 80, 98 was, was, is better than 95. However, that's not a fair comparison. Now, let's go straight on to 98. And let's just say 18 years ago is just lowering it down, and it's really both of these operating systems are obsolete. But I will not explain Windows 98 until another episode. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. If you enjoyed it and you want to see another one of these videos, Leave a like, share, subscribe, do everything that you can. Especially share, share, like, and leave a like. Those are the big, the big ones, please. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching, and peace.